Wilson Monene here. Welcome to my workout yeah. sessions. Today we are going to work out our chest. We are going to focus on the upper pec and the lower pec. Basically the chest has two muscles, that is the upper part and the lower part. And today we are going to work out the whole chest. So we are going to focus more on building a better chest, both the upper and the lower. And use, as we all know, uh, the chest is a beach muscle and it's good for you know guys who want to show up who want to go a shirtless in the pools in the beaches and also it's good for the ladies so welcome to the session let's do this wake up and lift burn your inner thrust join me All right. we're going to start with a incline bench press uh, well, basically, the incline bench press works your upper pecs or the upper part of your chest. And uh, most of the benches, like this one, is a fixed bench. So you don't need to adjust. And uh, but the only thing you need to adjust is the seat. So you need at least to adjust to a position where you feel that your shoulders are supported and your head is uh, resting on the bench. For beginners, uh, when you're beginning, uh, it's good to know the amount of weight that you're going to use when you're doing an incline bench. And an incline bench is one of the most challenging workouts when it comes to the uh, chest workout. Uh, what I adv advise for beginners is first, uh, just put a weight and see if you can lift the weight from the bench and if you can do at least 10 uh, reps, then that's a good weight for you. You can either add uh, 10, 5 to 10 percent of that weight. So it basically uh, uh, depends on your strength. But first, it's good to measure your uh, strength. First, just put just uh, maybe uh, 10 or 20, and you'll be able to measure your uh, your strength and know the amount of weight uh, you can do. What we advise is basically a progressive workout. What I mean by a progressive workout is you start low, then slowly you add up. Uh, your, your kilos. For example, what I did uh, we, I did today is uh, we started with a warm-up set, two sets. Uh, we did uh, 40 kilos just to warm up and make sure the, the muscles are, are warmed up. Then we went to uh, four working sets where we started with uh, 80 and then went to uh, 90 and then we went to finally 120. So basically it will depend with your strength. And as I say, when you come, you're benching, make sure that your, the bar is at least uh, your chest width and the grip. I also always recommend, always, the grip should be this. This is dangerous. Most of us, uh, we are used to having this grip, but this is the most secure grip. And you're going up, make sure the bar comes slightly uh, under your chin so you go up and push up and push up and push up and push but for beginners be careful because sometimes uh, the incline bench might uh, you know it puts pressure on your shoulders so you have to know the the exact point where you're supposed to lower your weight to then we went after that so after we did uh, the incline press, we did a flat bench press. For it, because you don't, we had already warmed up, we started with a working set of uh, 80 kilos, then we went to 110, then we went to 120, uh, two reps. So basically, it's for the strength, because my lower chest is already built, but for the beginners, uh, these are one of the best uh, or exercises to begin with. For beginners, I always advise, when you're working uh, the bigger muscles, uh, a press is a compound exercise because you move, you know, you're using a lot of um, muscles, most of your body uh, muscles to, to lift. So, basically this is simple. As I said, the first thing is you have to know your strength level so that you can know the amount of weight you're going to use. So basically test yourself first but if you have a personal trainer, best you'll access you and know where you're supposed to start. 
But if you're going to the gym with somebody who is not experienced or maybe your partner is not experienced, it's better first you test yourself. A normal uh, rep range is 8 to 12. So if you can comfortably go 8 to 12, if the weight is not very light and you can comfortably go to 8 to 12, the best. So for the flat bench press, as I said, make sure that you're holding the bar shoulder width and as you go up so watch up my arms my arms are going down like this not like this they are going down like that the elbows are pointing outwards and as you go down make sure the bench uh the sorry the bar comes at the lower part of your chest so that you're working uh your lower chest now so as you go up and press press Press. Most of the guys bring the weight here. That, that's that's uh, you're, you're, you're giving your shoulders a lot of work to do. So you're putting a lot of pressure in your shoulders. That is not advisable. So when you're doing a flat bench press, the best way is that the weight comes down lower on your chest. That is the best place. After the flat bench press, we did our incline, incline dumbbell press. Uh, to be sincere, the dumbbell exercises are one of my most favorite exercises that I love to do. I mean, they're just amazing. I feel good when I'm doing the dumbbell presses or dumbbell exercises because I know they are, you know, they are really specific on what you're working on. So when you're doing uh, the dumbbell uh, incline press, that is what we started with. So make sure that you're positioning. At least the bench should not be above 45 degrees. That is the inclination. So make sure that, to make sure that uh, you're targeting your uh, your upper part of the chest or the upper pecs. So when you're going uh, an incline dumbbell press, the positioning of your arm is very important. And also you need to feel the pressure on your chest. So when you go down, make sure your arms are open wide. And you as you go up, Rotate, so and you need to have that calf on your back. So you go up and rotate, push as you can see. Push, I'm working my chest. Push and push and push and push. So you can see where my the pressure is going. As I go up, you know, you're squeezing the chest. As you go up, you squeeze in the chest. Then it's that, that part and squeeze. You can do this, those are for the advanced. To depend, as I said, it will depend on the way you feel your pressure. There are some guys who like just doing half and half and half. There are some who like going all the way up and moving all the way up. The challenge of going all the way up is that you're putting pressure, too much pressure on your joints or and over time, uh, maybe you get injuries or some, but this is, more safe and safer to your joints. So what we did, we did uh, four working sets. We started with uh, 30 kilos, but we did a constant of 30 kilos. So uh, I prefer doing a constant win, maybe adding your reps as you progress. So there are different um, ways of progression. You can either add weight or maybe you can either uh, increase your repetitions. So as you go up, make sure the angle of your arms is good. So you go up, you should look at my arms, you see, they are not like this, they are slightly open. And I push up, open, and push up, open, and push up, open, and push up, open. So not there, and not straight, because when you go straight, it puts a lot of pressure in your in your shoulders and uh, you don't want your shoulders to be uh, injured. After doing the flies, we came for the fly machine. Uh, I rarely do machines because I'm more of a weights guy. And uh, since our, most of our gyms here, it's difficult for you to get a gym where they have a fully uh, gym that is equipped with full machines. So I don't like machines, I like uh, light weights. So we did uh, four sets, four working sets, but for here we didn't count. So it was, uh, after burning out then we did another 10 to make sure that we are completely uh, burning uh, our chest. To make sure that, okay, it's, it's the same as uh, the bench flies, but this one now you, uh, you're seated down. 
uh, we started fast with our arms positioned there, but I didn't feel it. So I had to change and uh, position my arm like this. So this, we are mimicking uh, the bench. It's like you're moving the flies, the normal flies. For that, I felt uh, it was working my chest. So when you feel that you're not targeting, you should feel uh, your, your, the, the, the area you're targeting. If you feel you're not targeting uh, the right muscles, then adjust, try and adjust. Our last workout was the crossover of flies. So we did uh, the cable flies, standing cable flies. As, uh, we targeted the middle part, the upper part, and the lower part. So we did, uh, we had to adjust the pulleys. We started with the mid uh, pulley. It should be here. So as you go the mid pulley, this is the technique that you're supposed to use. So the arms comes from up, and as you come down, you squeeze in, up. There. So up, squeeze in, up, squeeze in. For that, you're working out the upper part of the pack. So you up and squeeze in, up and squeeze in. So as I said, machines are challenging if you don't know how to use them. So the best, the best, if you're a beginner, the first thing is just try and get an instructor to help you out. Then after that, we did the upper pull. So we adjusted up to the upper pulley. So for that we mimic, we, it's like we're doing uh, the normal press. So our arms are there. But as you go up, you rotate the wrist there and rotate the wrist and squeeze in. There, rotate the, squeeze in. Um, rotate, as you can see, I'm rotating my wrist and squeeze in. Up, rotate the screen, squeeze in. Then from there, we did the, the lower pulley. So this is just to make sure that you're targeting the whole uh, chest. So for this, it's good. You, that is the position then, press it up. Press it up, make sure your chest is out and you're pressing out, chest is out, pressing out. For this, as I say, you don't need to use a lot of, you know, heavy weight, uh, since most of it is an isolation exercise, so just a light weight, and the rep range should be 12 to 20 uh, sets. That was our chest workout for today. So make sure you're following me on Facebook, Monene Wilson. On YouTube, Monene Wilson. Wow. You're following me on Instagram, official uh, Monene Wilson, and on Twitter, Wilson Monene. So make sure you're joining us in our workout sessions. We also have a Q&A uh, session every week. So we'd like you to continue asking questions regarding uh, fitness, nutrition, and training. And, you know, join us. We're also selling our our stringers, our gym stringers, we are going for 1,800 and what we'd like to urge you guys is give us a suggestion of what you'd want to see more on our videos and we'll make it for them. So wake up and lift, burn your inner thoughts.